Hello everybody, this is John with NAPCO Technical Support. In this brief video tech tip, I will be discussing how to access the configuration web interface for your IBR Z remote or your IBR Z remote dash W, which is our Wi-Fi iBridge module. Uh, so first and foremost, you do need to be connected to the customer's Wi-Fi network and your Z remote will need to be wired to the customer's network using a Cat5 cable. Uh, or if it's the IBR Z remote dash W, which is the Wi-Fi model, uh, when you first power up the unit, it should automatically enter Wi-Fi setup mode. So if you're looking at the unit, uh, the Wi-Fi module only, uh, the green LED DS4 blinks slowly and the red DS5 LED turns on steady. Uh, so if you see it in that mode, you are in Wi-Fi setup mode. Uh, if you're not, you can simply just uh, looking at the unit, you can press and hold down the S1 Wi-Fi module button, uh, press and hold that button until you see the DS4 green light solid, and then you release the button, and that will put the W model into Wi-Fi setup mode. Uh, so once you're in that mode, you can proceed with this uh, tutorial. So simply again, on the customer's network, if you have a regular Z remote, your hardwired ethernet is on the same local LAN as the, um, as the same network that you're on, and then and if you're using an IBRZ remote Wi-Fi module, that it's in Wi-Fi setup mode. Uh, so you can click on the Safari or the browser. If you're using an Android, you can open up your browser. And simply here, what you do need is the MAC address. You actually need just the last three uh, digits of the MAC address. Uh, so you can look at the IBRZ remote and locate the MAC address on the main Ethernet port on the underneath the cover. Uh, so basically the, uh, the URL you would go to is you would open up the browser here and you would type in at the top HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and you would type in NAPCO and then this is where you need to know the, the last three digits of the MAC address so you would type in the last three digits of the MAC address and then type in dot local and then press go and also uh, another method to access it is if you can't access it using the NAPCO eight, uh, the NAPCO last three of the MAC address dot local, uh, you can also just uh, point right directly to the IP address, the default IP address of the unit. So you can also type in, um, you know, 192.168.240.1. So this is the local IP if it's a Wi-Fi module only. So... Normally, a regular Z remote, you know, you just type in the IP, but the default IP address of a W model would be 192.168.240.1. So it's a pretty important step, you know, so if you're using, again, a regular Z remote, you should be able to hit it right away using the um, uh, that local NAPCO address, you know, but again, if you're connecting to a, a Wi-Fi module and you can't access it using the NAPCO local address, then you can just type in this 192.168.240.1. Uh, so simply here, you can type in your, let me stop this page here. And you can type in that. Username is admin, password is admin. And we can log in here. And these are all the different options. So basically this uh, web configuration page is just like you have your NMOD configuration tool with you. Uh, so you can simply click on keypad setup you know, you could change your keypad model type. You can change your keypad address here as well, and then press save at the bottom. Um, and if you click on Wi-Fi setup, you know, if you have the, uh, the Wi-Fi IBRZ remote dash W, this is where you can search for your local Wi-Fi. And then at the bottom, you can actually check off use Wi-Fi. And then when you hit save, the unit will actually power cycle and then boot up into Wi-Fi connection mode, which will connect to your SSID here that you set up uh, through the local web interface. Uh, so again, this is just a quick way to access your Z remote. Um, any settings, again, if you're setting up a Netlink receiver, you can also set up a Netlink receiver here and save all your information uh, right here through the web GUI interface. And you can press home. You can actually view all your firmware. So I'll probably have another video uh, going in detail about all the different options here. But this is a quick way to access the web configuration GUI. 
Um, again, this is John with NAPCO Tech Support. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.